There's like a scream, like a muffled voice. We're hearing voices, there's bangs, there's footsteps, the equipment's going off. Did you hear? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. 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 I don't All right, guys, tonight we are in Hartford City, Indiana at what is supposed to be one of the most negative houses in the entire country. This place is supposed to rival the Conjuring House and the Sally House in terms of like negative activity. It has activity dating all the way back to when it was first built in the 1860s. People allegedly did not stay for more than a year in this house. Yeah, for the first century, anybody yeah. who lived here lasted less than a year. Which is it, crazy. It's actually even gotten the nickname now, the Monroe Demon House. Yeah. So it's something that, you know, we don't tackle a lot of places that are supposed to be super negative like this. Um, we don't always buy into it a ton, mm. but this place is just nonstop with reports of this negative uh, activity. A bunch of our friends have been here. They've experienced things. Um, our good friend Kalani was just out here recently and, and Savannah got physically attacked out yeah. of the basement. So. That's where they uh, they found human remains in the basement and that's where she was attacked. So there's a lot to uh, unpack for this place. Yeah, that's the thing. The history here is kind of murky. There's not a ton known about it. So 1860s, it was built. Yeah. A lot of activity even since then. In the 1990s, there was reports of occult practices, seances, all kinds of weird things going on here that spread throughout the town. And like you said, in 2016, when Nick Groff was here, yeah. they found human remains in the basement. So we have no idea what to expect. We're gonna start out upstairs and work our way throughout the house. Um, so I think we just get in there and we get going. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, so we're starting out on the second floor of the Monroe house tonight. We're in the room that's known as the Ouija board room. This table in the middle does double as a Ouija board. We have a REM pod set up right in the middle of it. See if anything triggers that. We have the EMF rope that's in the doorway leading out to the hall on the rest of the second floor. And we also have um, the spirit box. We're gonna do an SS session up here. Start with that, see if we can get anything to come through. We do have the DR60s as well, so we can try some of that in a little bit um, if we need to. I'm gonna go under, we're gonna see what we can get up here, and then we're just gonna work our way through the building before we do uh, the dreaded solos, as always. Oh, yeah. All so, the alone segments. All right. All right. I'm going to get this set up, and uh, we'll get going. Good luck. Oh. Looks Did, like they love that idea. Yeah. Can you step away for a second so that stops? You just got to step back, and it'll stop making that noise. All right. Well, good luck. Listen, I'm not going to know what's going on. Good luck to you. <laughs> if that moves, let me know. Uh, yeah, you'll know because I won't be up, up here anymore. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Look at all these dolls. Why does every haunted location have to have creepy dolls? They're mean. That's loud. Here we go. Yeah. So guys, if you don't know what the Estes session is, um, he's basically going to put on these noise canceling headphones. He's listening to a spirit box right there. Um, he's going to repeat whatever he hears. That kind of removes the human bias and um, hopefully allows us to facilitate a conversation. My name is Dylan. What's your name? What can I address you as? Run. Run. It's <laughs> a weird name. We've heard this place is pretty negative. You're going to have to do a lot more to scare us out of here. That just... was like a little girl's voice. I couldn't make out what it said, though. You're going to have to do a lot more than just tell us to run. If you want to scare us out of here. Can you touch that? Touch the top of... Red? Oh, my God. It actually just did it. Can you step away for a second? So that stops? Okay. Thank you. Okay, what? Really, really intelligent right off the bat. Here we are. Here we are. Where are we? What is this house called? That's got full body chills. That was nuts, actually. Right off the bat. Let me out. That was a weird voice. I heard that. That was loud. Where are, where are you trapped? Are you in the basement? Because the story is they did um, like occult rituals and stuff in the basement. That's why they found the human remains down there, which is crazy, first of all. Oh. Couldn't make it out. It was a male voice, but I couldn't make out. Did you just come into the room with me? Can you set off that rope light again? If you just walk. Evil. Evil. Yeah, we've heard you're evil. Are you saying that you're evil? Oh, that was a, it was a really deep voice and it was like, come down. Come down. Can you set off this rope light on the ground? Show me how powerful you are. If you're really evil. Scare us out of here. 
slam a door. You'll find out. You'll find out. I don't believe that you're as powerful as you say you are. Dumb ways to die. Can you step away, please? Step back so it stops. Thank you. Can you come touch this rope light on the ground? You did it once. I want to see it again. No. Why not? We're not frightened. We're not frightened either. We're not here to scare you. That's not our goal here. We want to talk to you. But you said you were evil. So I wonder if it's like multiple spirits. Kind of like the Sally house. You know, the benevolent one and the malevolent one. Kind of like chasing each other around. Battling for control of the house. There's a good spirit and an evil spirit. Kind of going back and forth. Whole Away rope light. Away from there? Whole rope light just went off. Away from where? The doorway? You trying to walk in and I'm blocking your entrance? That was crazy though. The whole rope light right here just went off. So who am I speaking to now? The good spirit or the evil spirit? Either speak to Steve or sit off the device. Rope, I don't know if you saw it on the wall. Rope light at the end went off though. Like I said, we're not here to scare you. We're not going to try to get you in any trouble. Can you step away, please? Sure. Okay. Thank you. We're just here to facilitate a conversation. We want to learn more about you in this house. If we can help you, we'd love to try to help you in any way. Do you need help? Out there? Out where? In the hallway? That was another, um, like, deep male voice. Couldn't tell what it said. It was like, a, it was a few words, though. Can you speak up a little bit so Steve That can... sounded like it just went, Steve? Are you talking to Steve? Or is your name Steve? Run. I said run again. Every time I ask for its name, it says run. And the whole thing behind demons is they never try to give their names, right? They always try to hide their identity because once you know their name, you have power over them. Um, so I, that's kind of interesting, actually. Is there something demonic here? Is something conjured or summoned? Do you not want to use the equipment anymore? Is it easier to talk to Steve? Listen. I'm listening. Do you have something you want to say? Or do you have a message for us? We're playing like right at the end here, just one off. Second one. Wait. I'm waiting, I'm not gonna go anywhere. The people? That's almost like a conversation between them. I think they walked out. Someone else was going, wait. Are you from this location or did you follow us from somewhere? If you guys remember last week's video, we got the name Sally at the Shanley, which is interesting. Right here. Right where? I'd love to see you. If you can show yourself. Go, go again. Go again. What do you mean? Are we going to see you tonight? We're going to split up and go alone at the end of the night. Is that a good idea? Over there. Over there again. Over where? Where do you want me to go? Follow them. Follow them. I don't know if that's like residual, like a residual conversation from, you know, the almost 200 years of history this house has, or if they're saying they should follow us because, you know, we're outsiders coming into this house, or if I should follow them, whoever's in the hallway. Can you give me some more context? Me? Is that you? Can you step back, please, so the stop's going off? Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, it said yes and then immediately did it. Are you the same person I was talking to earlier? The rope light in the hallway just went off. Okay, okay. Do you want me to sit down? Would that make you more comfortable? Basement. Basement. We're going to be down in the basement later on tonight. One of us will be alone down there. 
Is that a good idea? Is that safe? Or does someone mean us harm? You're gonna, and then it, it got cut off. I couldn't tell what it said. You're gonna something. That's probably good, right? You're gonna have a great time. I'm gonna what? Feel. I'm gonna feel what? What am I gonna feel? How powerful you are? Are you gonna show me what you can do? Looks like one of the ropes lost. Evil? Evil again. You're gonna feel how, or we're gonna feel how evil you are? How much power you have? Rope lights are going off in the hallway. I don't know if you can see it on the uh, wall there. Can I walk out here? Is that okay? That one's going nuts. Join us. Join us. Where are you? Why is that one doing that? It's only that one though. It's towards the basement. Yo, that's literally the, the door to downstairs. Are you trying to show me the way to the basement? Light up all of these lights if you are. If you're trying to show us the way to the basement, if you're trying to get us downstairs, can you light up these rope lights? Every single it's one. It's all me. It's all me. Show us how powerful you are. Open that door. Set off all of these lights. Do whatever you can. I don't think you can. You don't have the power. Okay, you got two. You can do better than that. Let's see, the whole, whole rope light. See? I see the one. Do the that was me. That was me. You only set off one. I thought you were some powerful demon. There we go. Okay, thank you. You got more. I'll take that. That's crazy though. It's like it's trying to show us the way to the basement. He keeps talking about evil. I brought up the basement. Like, no one knows what they did. That was weird. It was like a. It was like a laugh. It was really high pitched though. What are you proud of yourself? You lit up the rope light. You're gonna have to do more to scare us away. What are you purple gonna? Purple one. Purple one. Yeah, the purple lights on the ground. Yep. Can you touch the top of that? Touch the top of that red light right there. So it lights up, makes some noise like it did earlier. Here? Yep, right in this room here on top of the Ouija board. That? That. That was like a deep voice and it sounded like it said, <laughs> I'll, I don't even want to say, it sounded like it said, I'll F you all. That's kind of weird. <laughs> no? I'll, I'll F you all. No thanks? Pass? Is this? Is there someone else up here with us? Someone positive, someone who's trapped? Can we help you? We don't mean to scare you. That's not like I said, no, you bitch. Oh, I just got chills. That's actually kind of crazy. So powerful, you can't even light up a rope light, huh? Real impressive. How about this? Start off with this. Light up that entire light. Those purple lights on the ground, walk down. Walk into this room so all of them go off. We've heard you attack people. You scare them out of the house. You've scared residents out of this house. Show us what you got. Show us how powerful you are. Very negative right off the bat though. Really intelligent answers from both devices and the Estes method, which is cool because it validates, you know, they validate each other. But die, die. What do you want to, you want to harm us? What are you going to do? Are you going to show yourself to us tonight? Are you going to scratch one of us? You attacked one of our friends, Savannah. Our friends Savannah and Kalani were here pretty recently. Are you the one who attacked her? So I said, you mother, you know. 
Are you the one who attacked her? Own up to it if you are. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, actually. Are you going to attack one of us? Evil. Evil again. What is that, the third time it said it? Third time, great. Sorry. What if I say a prayer in the it basement? It's not like I said demon. Demon. Demons. What if I say a prayer in the basement? Would that help you? Steve. I like yelled. What if I pray in the basement? What is that going to do? Whatever I want. So you're saying it's not going to affect you? Try me. Try me. Yo, this is actually kind of cool. It's really, really cocky. You know what I mean? Like, it's probably just a negative spirit who's just, like, a douche, but I want to see what this thing has for us tonight. So if I go to the basement, I pray to St. Michael, what's that going to do? Is that going to make you angry? Make us? Make you what? It said us, too. Like, multiple. On God? On God or on God? You feel like you're the god of this house? By God? I don't know what way to take that. Are you saying God isn't in this house? That's like a whole other layer. Are you saying you're a demon? And you don't allow- Die. Die again. You don't allow God to be in here? Is this your domain, this house? Whole roleplay just went off. Oh my god. It's not like a deep laugh. This thing's really, really cocky. This is interesting. It's very, very intelligent. It resp it's responding both through Estes and equipment. This is actually pretty nutty. I'm excited to see what else we get tonight, especially in the basement. What are you going to do to us in the basement? Is that where you're the strongest? Is that where they did all the, the rituals and the summonings? Again, it's like it, it's walking towards the room. Can't help them. Can't help who? Are other, do you trap other people here? Are there other spirits trapped in this house with you? So what if that's like them coming to get help? It's like hard to breathe. I, like yeah. I can't take a deep breath in here. I feel that. <clears throat> Are you affecting us? Making it hard to breathe? Are you trying to show us how powerful you are? That's crazy though. This is the same one that attacked Savannah when Kalani and Savannah filmed here. I'm going to be getting Steve here in a second. We're going to head downstairs to the collection room where the Ouija boards are and the doll. Are you going to follow us down there? This has been nuts, though. Really, really intelligent. Really negative, too. The rope light just went off again. All right. I'm going to grab Steve, and we're going to head downstairs, okay? Are you going to follow us? Can you give us a sign if you're going to follow us? I'd love to continue this conversation. We want to see what you got tonight. Give us everything you have. As many noises, set off as much of the equipment you want, yell at us, scream at us, whatever you want to do. Sound good? Alright. I'm going to head downstairs now, alright? It's like it can't, comes in waves though. It'll come up, talk for a couple minutes, and then it disappears. That's weird. So scare him. Fuck off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck off. <laughs> right. That literally, was really, really interesting, actually. It literally said, it was saying fuck off right when you came up to me. Really? I do not feel good up here. No. I can't breathe. Like, um, it's, I have a super tight chest right now. You kept saying demon. You kept saying evil. Um, I said, if I pray to St. Michael downstairs, what is that going to do? Would that help you? Or would that help you, you know, get out of here or whatever? Um, and you said, try me. So, the evil, every time I said evil, it was a different voice. Really? Yeah.
It was a different voice every time. When you said you can't help them too, the rope light went off like it was coming into this room. So it's either we can't help whoever is stuck here or whoever is here can't help us. You know what I mean? That's how I interpreted it. Right. Um, a lot of really negative stuff. It was very, very intelligent. It was yeah. very cocky. It was kind of funny. It was like, it felt like I was bantering with someone, you know? Yeah. But it doesn't feel good in here. No. I don't, I don't feel good. No. So they said whatever is in the basement is uh, going to give us a, an interesting night. So. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Going downstairs? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, now we're downstairs on the first floor, kind of like in the main area. Um, the collection room is right in here with all the Ouija boards and the haunted dolls and crosses and whatnot. Um, here in the main hallway, we have the rope light set up. Um, we have a few devices over here leading to the basement. Um, we have a metal meter and the music box. And then back here behind me in the um, collection room, we have a REM pod and some flashlights set up. So hopefully we can kind of see where they want to talk to us. Maybe they can draw us towards the area they want to interact with us in. Um, and then we'll definitely do some DR60s. Yeah, absolutely. See if we can get some EVPs because we got those. So we haven't used them yet. So yeah. I think what we do is we kind of just see. Um, Let them guide us. Like that. Which one? Is that the one towards the basement? Oh, shit. Yeah, that is. That's the metal over here. Which is interesting because the entire time you were talking about the basement up there. Is it the yellow light? Like someone's touching it? No, it was the side. Oh. Are you down that hallway by the basement? If you are, there's a device down there that if you stand in front of it, it plays flashlights music. Flashlights on. Oh, rope light went off and flashlights on. Yo. Hashtag surrounded. I was just going to say surrounded. <laughs> Can you turn on this flashlight again? Right on this table? Or touch that red light? Or touch these lights in the hallway again. We have a ton of devices set up. So hopefully one of them is easy for you to use. We can use them to facilitate a conversation. Upstairs we were talking to something that identified itself as a demon. Said it was evil. Where'd you go? I told you we were coming down here. Are you still going to try to scare us? Can you make a noise wherever you are? Let us know that you can hear our voices. Okay. So that's that one in that room now. Yeah. Can you step back so it stops making that noise? Let's take a step back. It'll stop. Thank you. Is this someone else? This whole rope went off and it went down that hall. Like it, it was running was, away. It was away from us. Yeah. It went down this way. If this is someone else, if you're trapped in this house, or if you're just passing through and you're scared, we'd love to have a conversation with you. We can try to help you. We don't mean you any harm. We're not trying to scare you. We just want to talk to you and learn more about you. The history of this house. Why you're here. Didn't you turn all these, didn't we turn all these lights off? Yeah. You turn this one off on the table over here? Yeah. It's on. It's on? Yep. What? Yep, that light is on. We were just over here two minutes that ago. That light is 100% on. That's weird. Yeah, because we came in here and turned all these off. Yeah. I turned that one off and I turned the far one off back there. Because like you can see all the lights in the other room are off. But this is, that's weird. We 100% turned that off. Yeah. Think about it though. Think about it though. The EMF rope goes off coming down here around this corner and this light's on. Interesting. And the light was off before. And if this is something that's scared of the demon or the negative thing, you know, maybe light kind of wards it off. Or it's trying to pull us. Right. It's trying to pull us away, maybe just protect us. Because mm -hmm. it's set upstairs, you can't help them. That's interesting, actually. Are you trying to lead us away from the negative entity that lives here? You're trying to protect us. Can you set off this rope light on the ground? Whoever was upstairs was doing a great job. Set it off quite a bit. What was that? It was like a moan? Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Uh. It's not the fridge. No. Because you can hear the difference. Yeah. The hum is constant. Yeah. That was back that way though, yeah. that's what I mean. So it's, it's going like... back and forth. This is consistent with like the Sally house though. Pulling you know, us all different directions. Yeah. Did you want us back in here? I heard a voice. What'd you hear? I, 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 it was a voice, I couldn't tell. 
I can tell what I said, but it came from this way. Hello? Do you want us to use these voice recorders that we have? Maybe we can capture your voice, have a conversation with you that way? It might be easier for you to get your message across that way. It's a little silver box. All you have to do is speak into it. We should be able to hear you. If you'd like to use the voice recorder, can you give us a sign? Set off a device, make a loud noise. Is that footsteps? I can't tell. I hear him, yeah. Whole, whole role play. play. Whole role play goes off. Everybody says, is that footsteps? I, we gotta go down there, I think. We'll yeah. go down there and do some EVPs. One, because the rope light's gone off in that direction twice now. We're hearing footsteps. And, but now it's behind us again. Yeah, and this is where we heard the voice. Surrounded. Literally surrounded. Which way should we go? Can you step away from that for a second? So it stops making that noise? Thank you. This is bizarre. I don't know which way to go. One of us stay here, one of us go over there. I think if, we, if we think we're gonna do EVPs, we go have to go there. that way or we have to go down that way by the, the basement. Right. We'll start down here, do some, and then we'll go towards that room. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Which one is that? I don't know. It's one in here and the flashlight's on. And the flashlight's on. So it's like it led us back this way now. And yeah. then it stops. Can you turn that off? All the okay. way up. Do you want us to do the questions in here? Let's do one in here first. Yeah. Let's do one in here. All right. We're going to give you the chance to talk to us now, okay? So if there's anything you want to say to us, now is going to be your shot. We're not going to say anything. We're going to give you the floor. All right. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so let's play these back. Yeah. And uh, see what we got. See if they said anything to us. Nothing, Nothing clear. too clear. It's yeah. like chattering almost. That's weird. Play that back. Play it one more time. Something downstairs? Play it. It literally sounds like the beginning play again. It sounds like it says, hey, Dylan. Yeah. And then I can't tell what the rest of it is. Play the back. <laughs> but what does that say right after that? I don't know. It's three words. I got chills though. I can't tell what that We haven't gotten a scream like that in a long time. That's what I was just thinking. We have yeah. not gotten a scream like that cool. in a long time. Did you just scream at us? It's a little rude. Yeah. Can you step away from that, please? 
So stop. Thank you. See, like I, I would feel like that isn't the same thing as who screamed, right? No. Because why would somebody scream like that, try to be scary, malicious, or whatever, but then yeah. listen when we ask it to stop? You know what right. I mean? Like they're not. It's not going to be the same. Yeah. Upstairs, did they say that you can't help us? Whoever this malevolent spirit is, whatever they want to do, they're going to be able to do. Is that what it meant? Or we can't help you? I was going to say the fridge stopped. Yeah. So if we want to do a couple sessions out there, yeah. now might be the time to do it. So let's go out there and let's ask some questions. Go towards like the basement area. Yeah. Over this way. That was crazy though. We haven't gotten a stream like that in a long time. It's so dark in here. Yeah. Okay, so the music box is right here in this doorway. Okay. That hasn't gone off all night either. No. Let's go in here. Because there's a whole other room back here too. Right. So that's the door to the basement right there. We're going down there next. Yeah, let's do some right here. Yep. Ask some questions, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Do you know who just screamed in the other room? What is your name? Is there something evil in this house? Do you mean to do us harm? One, two, three. Something interesting too, it, um, whoever was upstairs, this negative entity, mm -hmm. said it was the same one that attacked Savannah. Really? Yeah. Sorry, Savannah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's play these, uh, let's play these back. What? What? Can you step away so that it stops? Step back, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't have a name. I don't have a name. That's what I said. Yeah, for sure. I don't have a name. Yeah. Me? That's what it sounded like. Me. Me, for sure. I really don't know. Really a positive uplift, yeah. uplifting says, spirit. Yeah, says something evil in this house, me. Yeah. And it says, I don't have a name, which technically. Yeah. If it's not of this earth, it wouldn't have a name. And if, well, demons, yeah. per se, whatever their given name is, if you figure out who it is, which demon it is, then you're supposed to be able to have power over it and banish it or whatever. So they yeah. won't, that don't have a name. I'm not going to tell you. Right. I started talking about that upstairs too. And then you kind of led me astray, but it's like, we don't really believe in this whole like demon thing. You know, we don't really believe that demons exist. <laughs> Did you just hear that thud? From where? I think it was above us. Yikes. This is probably about where we were upstairs, isn't it? Uh, I, yeah, I think so. It's a pretty good thud. But we don't really believe in the whole demon thing. Um, we've been to a lot of haunted locations and we've encountered negative spirits, but we've never encountered something that we would classify as demonic, right? right. Like, but so far tonight, this has been, we've had things tell us that they're demons yeah. or the devil, like the Savannah house. Yeah. They said, I'm the devil, you know? So I don't know. I don't know. It's off to a weird start though. Yeah. Let's see. What is that What is your name? There's 
It was quieter. It was like yeah. yes and then me. There's something evil in this house. Do you mean to do a call? Oh no. Uh, weird. Yeah. Weird stuff. Weird stuff. It seems like all night it's been trying to get us into the basement though. I know. Um, let's go in this room behind us and do, um, let's do one more in there and then and, and see what we can get before yeah. we move on. Let's go this way. I just realized that we walked into the room that's next to the room we're gonna be sleeping in. Yeah, literally right here. Yeah, so. I don't know if it's a great idea to do stuff right here. She was going to be lurking right outside the room we're sleeping in. I did tell them that we're going to be sleeping here tonight, so they already know. Perfect. Good idea. You know. All right. Let's uh, see what they got for us. Let's do some questions here. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go more towards this corner, I guess. Okay. I'll stand. Yeah, by you go the... by the doorway a little bit. Yeah. It's a great idea. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Do you know our names? If you do, Say them. Do you have power over this house? Is this your domain? What are you going to do when we split up? Are you going to bother us while we sleep here tonight? Can you scream as loud as you can again? into one of these devices? Have you trapped people here? One, two, three. All right, let's see, uh, let's see what we got. Let's yeah. see what we're working with here. Right outside the room we're sleeping in. Oh, goody. It sounds like it shows like how powerful I am. Listen, it's like. Powerful. Yeah, powerful. I am. It's like show powerful I am or something. How. During the Estes method too, I said, can you show us how powerful you are? Do something crazy. And you said, like, you'll feel or you'll see something like that. Oh, good. So, yeah. It literally sounds like I said, like, show you how powerful I am or how, it's definitely how powerful, how powerful I am. For sure. Let's see what yours got. Yeah. Yes, I do. Play that back. Do you have power over this house? Is this your domain? To make out the last part. So like, yes, I do something. Yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to Are you going to bother us while we sleep here tonight? Have you trapped people here? 
I don't know. A couple more clear things, but nothing super, super clear. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. I don't yeah. feel as bad down here as I did upstairs. Like, I no. could not get a good breath upstairs. Yeah. Um, but I think it's time. It's about that time. We go down to the basement, um, do more EVPs. Let's go downstairs. Let's see if we can run into whatever this negative or even if it's pretending to be negative or right. pretending Malevolent. to be like Right. Let's get down there. Let's see who we can talk to, what we can figure out. And then it's uh, time for solos. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Really quick, guys, if you've been enjoying this video and all the crazy activity we've had so far, make sure you drop down below. Give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. If we get 3,000 likes in this video, we'll come back to Hartford City, Indiana and do the Blackford County Jail right up the street. So give us a like. All right, guys, so we moved down to the basement. This is supposed to be the focal point of the house where all the negative demonic activity takes place. To my left is the crawl space where the remains were found in 2016. We have a REM pod set up inside there along with a flashlight right on the entrance to it. Music box is on the ladder behind me pointing towards the stairs. Another flashlight right here to my left and we have a Mel meter to my right over in this other little area of the basement over here. Now we both have the DR60s as well and we also brought down the spirit box. So we're gonna do an open spirit box session at one point as well. Just see if we can make contact with whatever is down here, whoever's down here. Um, and see maybe why they're attacking people, why they're scratching people, or if it is something that claims to be a demon, right? right. Inhuman yeah. or something like that. Um, and just kind of go from there before we start our solos. Yeah. Cause this is supposed to be where they did all the rituals and the summonings and whatnot. So if there was a demon, it'd probably be hanging out down yeah. here. This is might be where they, uh, opened up the portal to whatever is here now. So yeah. let's see if we can get it to interact with us a little bit and ask it some questions. Yeah. All right. So as we were just saying, there's, there's a, chair. a chair. I walked into it. It's very dark down here. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, guys, if you didn't know, we film an IR. So this is what we see. Very it's dark. Pretty, uh, pretty great. Very dark. But we have a couple devices down here set up. We'd love to have a conversation with you. Whether you're trapped here, you lived in this house, whether you're the one who identifies themselves as a demon, this negative entity that hangs out, in this house and attacks people. Show us how strong you are. If you claim to be this negative, inhuman spirit that is capable of scratching people, and attacking people, why don't you do something? Make a loud noise. Set off a piece of our equipment. Show yourself. You attacked one of our friends who came here not too long ago. You only pick on females? You don't scare us. If you're someone who's trapped here, you're being held here by whoever this malevolent spirit is, we're not trying to scare you either. We'd love to learn more about you, your life here, the history of the house. If we can help you in any way, we'd love to try. If you get close to any of these devices we have set up, you touch the end of them, wave your hand in front of them, what they're gonna do is light up and make some noise. They just let us know that you're here. Just like that. Can you touch the top of that? Can you touch the top of that device? It'll light up a different color. Are you afraid of whoever's here? My heart just stopped. It was like a scream, like a muffled it like... It was like a... It was not great. <laughs> I don't know what that was. My heart stopped. What is that, actually? Hello? Where did that come from? I can't tell if it was above us or if it was back here. Hello? What was that? It was loud. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Was that you? Can you set off one of these devices if we just heard your voice? Are you screaming? Shh. Footsteps. Yeah, you hear that bubble? Yeah. Your voice? Are you screaming? Shh. Footsteps. Yeah, you hear that bubble? Yeah. Your voice? Are you screaming? Shh. Footsteps. Yeah, you hear that bubble? Yeah. Directly above us. Yep. It's 
It's like the it's floorboards. L- it's right of us. Literally. That's actually nuts. Hello? If you're upstairs, if you're right above us, come down to the basement so we can talk to you. Why did I just put my back to the demon? Hold ah, beats me. Huh. That's crazy, actually. Whatever that noise was, and I don't know what that footstep was. directly above us. Music box right behind you, too. Oh, yeah. I'd stop over here, Sean. Sorry. Can you knock on this door? I'm going to knock. You knock back, okay? I'm hearing a voice. They're talking? Yeah, I'm hearing talking. I'm going to knock. Knock back. You still hear it? No. It was it like a male voice? I couldn't tell. It was distant. It was very, very faint. Very, very faint. You want to try the spirit box? Yeah, well, let's try one thing first. Hold on. We're going to whistle. Can you whistle back? That sounded like it came from behind me. Like yeah. Up the stairs. Yeah. Was it a, I can tell if it was a voice. It was or like, like a, like a whimper almost. Yeah. Every time we hear something that goes off. Yeah. Can you step away for a second from this device so it stops? Just step back. It'll stop making that noise so I can ask you a question. Is the bad thing upstairs? Is that what we keep hearing? This negative entity? Is it the one making all the noise above us? And you know, it makes sense too, right? Like if it is this negative thing or if it's demonic or whatever you want to call it, Mm. a lot of times they're known to take the former act as something different to kind of like mimicry and, or to like lull you, make you at ease, right? Like it sounded high pitch. It sounded, like it's a kid like a kid or like or, a little yeah. girl or somebody screaming right and whimpering like oh you know what i mean like and let's go, go up some, and help him. right and then it's like what's up i'm yeah. a demon <laughs> jokes yeah. on you hit you with a power bomb yeah that'd be crazy that would suck you know what i mean though like yeah solos are gonna be fun yeah so much fun yeah, you want to try a spear box for a second? Yeah. Let's try that. Let's fire that up. We're going to do it out loud, guys, and we're just going to see. Um, wait, if that helps. Did you, it's me. No, did you move? What like, do you mean? Like, it's the only mm, possible I movement. don't know if that was you. What was it, like in the back room? It was in front of the room. Oh. It wasn't a shadow, because like when you move like that, you see our shadow goes on the whole wall? Yeah. It wasn't like that. It was almost like a... Light. Oh, my camera wouldn't focus when I just panned over there, too. So, that's mm. probably fine. I love it here. Yeah, it's a good place. All right, let's try. Hello? Help? Somebody. Who is this? It's a demon. It, it was really quiet. It's a demon? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Another footstep upstairs. There's another footstep upstairs. Can you stop your feet? Move something. You know, we see all these things, but if that door flies open, I think I'm going to leave. Guess which way you have to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The way the door is. That's too bad. Uh huh. Anyway. I'll right, we'll go back to that. Try this back up. Step out of that room and come towards us. So it stops making that noise, please. We have some questions. If you speak into this, we should be able to hear you. 
Who's upstairs? Flashlight behind you. I said step out of this room and come over here. And it and was the behind me. Yeah, sick. Who's upstairs? Who's making all these noises? Were you summoned here? Did someone conjure you here? What did they find in this back room? What did they uncover? Show us how strong you are. Aren't you supposed to be a demon? So no. That was, weird. That was a female voice. Like a no. What's gonna happen when one of us comes down here alone? What are you gonna do? Step back from that, please. Do you need help? What is pain? That was that. That was the rem in there. Are you in this crawl space? If you're in here, set off that device that's in there. Wave your hand in front of it, touch the top of it, push it over. You said you were going to show us how powerful you are. Let's see it. Why don't you move something? Drag a chair. Push one of these flashlights. As I said, push one of these flashlights. Can you roll this out of this ledge right here? Just slap the end of it so it falls. I don't think you can do it. I don't think you're as powerful as you say you are. I think you just try to scare people. That was on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Show yourself. Yell. Stomp your feet. Slam a door. Show us how powerful you are. What was that? I have no idea. What was that? I have no idea. What was that? I have no idea. Is this another whimper? They sound like a female again. Yeah. Is there somebody else down here? See, again, that's the, the thing, right? Like, is it something that's trying to play? at that like emotion, like it's a little kid or a girl. Like it needs help and right. it wants us to, yeah. Or is it actually the spirit the of a little girl or something? Right. You know what I mean? Do you need help? Do you want to talk about something? We want to hear your story, if that's the case. If we can help you, we'd love to try to help you. Can you interact with one of our devices? Show us that you're here. That's, okay. That's exactly what that is. Thank you. Oh my oh. God, I scared myself. Oh, that was me. I stepped in front of it. Whew. All right, can you step back so it stops? Thank you. On command. That's pretty good. Should we do EVPs? Yeah, see if that's easier. Yeah. So I have these little silver boxes that we're gonna hold out. And we're gonna ask you some questions. And we've been hearing voices too, so. Yeah. If you speak into this little silver box that's in either one of our hands, we should be able to hear you. You can have a conversation that way if the devices are too difficult. I'm going to turn this off for a second so I can go over by the stairs. Why don't you put your hand in the crawl space? Oh, good, yeah. That's a great idea. Thanks. I came up with it all on my own. Oh, there's a wall. Oh, all right. Ready? Yeah, ready? One, two, three. Can we have your name, please? Who do you serve? 
What are you going to do to whoever's down here alone? Are you the one who told me, try me? Where'd that energy go? Show yourself. One, two, three. It's good timing. Yeah. All right, we're going to play these back now, see if we can hear your voice. Ready? Dun, dun, dun. What are you going to do to run us down here alone? Show my power. It's like it's there, but it's not. It's not coming through super, super clear on the right. EVP side. It's weird. Yeah. See if this one caught anything different. Faint, faint voice upstairs went, hello. Like super quiet, but I heard it from behind me. Hello? It sounded like somebody upstairs just went, hello. Is this how like horror movies start? Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> At least Can we get to sleep here tonight. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Can you step back, please? So I can listen to the rest of this? Thank you. All right. What do you serve? What? There's n nothing above you. Oh, that... something touch you? Yeah, I thought my first thought was like a spider, which wasn't a great option <laughs> either. What it feel like? It, just something like down the back of my neck. I can't say it felt like like fingers or anything, but it just right. felt like something like went down the back of my neck. Yeah, I don't see like any bugs or anything. There's nothing. Like I haven't seen one at all tonight. No, that was weird. Huh. All right. Anyway, play it properly. What do you serve? What are you gonna do to run us down here alone? Kill. That's what I thought too. Kill. I don't want to say it. It was like kill. What are you gonna do to climb her down here alone? Kill. Are you the one who told me try me? Where'd that energy go? Try yourself. There's been a crazy draft coming from here too, which and is weird because it's, it's closed sealed. off. Yeah, it's yeah. sealed off in there. I don't know. But you said, what did that just say? Kill? Yeah, and then the flashlight. Kill. Yeah. yeah. And I hear it. And now, it's and now that's the one in there. Yeah. That's the one in the crawl space. The REM pod in there is going off. Can you step back from that for a second? So it stops making that noise? Thank you. Are you this thing that's been conjured? Are created. Are you waiting for one of us to go in there? Great question. Thanks. I think it's about that time. Yeah, split up. All right, let's, uh, we'll go upstairs. Mm -hmm. We'll figure out who's going up and who's going down, and then uh, we'll do these solos and go from there. Let's do it. All right.
All right, guys, before we jump into these solos, don't forget, drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you do not miss any of our uploads. We upload every single week a brand new investigation. We've been going to some of the most haunted locations all across the country. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So make sure you drop down below, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into these solos. All right, guys, it's that time of the night. We're gonna be splitting up doing some solos. It's your guys' favorite part, the alone segment. I'm gonna be taking the flashlight, the Mel meter that was down there, and um, DR60, of course. Steve's gonna have the music box, REM pod, DR60, and flashlight as well. And I'm going back upstairs to the second floor where we started out the night, and I was under for an Estes, so I haven't really experienced it much. Yeah. Um, but I did feel like really tight chest up there, hard to breathe, felt uncomfortable, so I can't wait to get back up there. You get to crawl into the crawl space where they found the bodies. Yeah. Um, so that'll be exciting that'll for be you. Really fun. Um, we have a really, really good time. Um, yeah, that's where we're hearing all the voices and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, you're I mean, going to have fun, I think. The Wicked Negative thing was upstairs with us, though, so hopefully he's still hanging out up there and you get to meet him, but... Uh, I think he hates you. Yeah. So, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm going up, you go down, and uh, if you survive, I'll see you in a little while. Yeah, and all then right. we get to sleep here, so... Let's do it. Cool. All right, I'm going to grab my stuff. Good luck. Good luck to you. Here we go. Awesome. That's too bad. This little guy scares me every time I come around the corner. Like, what is the reason? Maybe he was stomping his feet around up here. Yeah, pay no mind to this, guys. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, man. Not even downstairs yet, dude. You ever like uh, get to a point in your life and you're like, how did I get here? You yeah, know, that's me right now. All right. How fun. Looks uncomfortable. All right, I'm gonna go. We haven't done anything in here yet. Hey there, demons. It's me, your boy. Maybe this is the nice one. Are you the nice one? The nice spirit that's down here? Can we be friends? Jump scare. So I'm gonna crawl up into this little crawl space up here. All right. Flashlight, hey, what's up? I don't know if that's the, the nice spirit or if it's hype that I'm going up on the crawl space. Can you switch that off if you're the nice spirit that's down here? If you're the friendly, the one who wanted help? Hey, hell yeah, all right. Sounds good, can't wait to talk to you. All right, so I think I'm gonna do some DRC sessions right off the rip. Um, try to see if we can establish contact with somebody. It's got that weird feeling up here again, um, not as bad as earlier, but it definitely has weird vibes up here, which I was expecting more in the basement, honestly, um, because that's where the negative thing is supposed to hang out and where the body was found and all that. But this floor so far tonight has felt the most off, honestly. Let's see, guys. Nope. I'll sit right here. That's good. And guys, we film in IR, so it's that time. This is what I'm going to see for the next portion of my solo sick all right all right so i'm back great to see you happy to be here one two three have i been hearing your voice throughout the house tonight Do you know who's downstairs in the basement? Do you know what state we're in? One, two, three. Again, my name is Dylan. We're not here to scare you. 
We don't mean you any harm. We just want to try to have a conversation with you. Try to find my DR60 here. Start off with a session right quick. See if they want to talk. Just was about to play these back and that started. Can you step away from that for a second so I can play these? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. It's scary down here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. All right. Three, two, four. Can you tell me your name, please? Where are you from? Are you from this location or somewhere else? It feels weird up here, guys. Like, I just heard a noise. That's down the hall. That was a voice. That was 100% a voice. Oh my God, I hope the mic picked that up. That was 100% a voice. Hello? Hello? Can you make a noise for me? Do you like having visitors? Can you say my name back to me? What is my name? All right, let's see you guys. It is by far the worst vibes on this floor out of this whole house for me. By far the worst is on this floor. It feels like, I mean, it feels like I'm cornered. It, I am literally almost backed up into this corner I'm just like waiting for somebody to come through that door. It feels really, really off up here. So much more so than the basement. Let's play this back, see what we got anything. I'll play this back. Can you tell me your name, please? There's something there, I can't tell what it is though. Can you tell me your name, please? It's very quiet, I don't know. Where are you from? Are you from this location? Or somewhere else? From here? Flashlights turn on. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Thank you for turning that on. Can you twist it the other way so it turns off? As fast as you can. If you're from this location, can you switch that off? Thank you. Here we go. Says something after that. Have I been hearing your voice throughout the house tonight? Do you know who's downstairs in the basement? Do you know what the gate was tonight? There's something about talking? Do you know who's downstairs in the basement? Do you know what the gate was tonight? talking? 
Oh, wait, what does that say right there? I can't tell if that says Indiana or not. Sounds weird. But that definitely sounds something, something talking. I can't make out what it's saying though. I don't know. I really don't know. So that's interesting. That's like at the Shanley. I wonder if they can hear our questions better through a different medium, like voice recorders when we play them back. That's interesting. Do you like having visitors? Yes. I'll play that back, hold on. Do you like having visitors? Can you say my name back to me? What is my name? The screen's like flickering. Sound like I don't know. I like that doorway. All right, let's do a let's do another EVP session. One, two, three. Is the negative or dark energy from this house upstairs with me right now? Are you affecting the way I feel? All right, I'm gonna set this on the ground. So maybe this will be easier for you to use. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna ask you some questions. If you wanna use the flashlight, if that's easier, feel free. If you wanna use the device out there, if you wanna speak into this, this voice recorder, you can do that. Dylan's downstairs. Can you go downstairs and tap him on the shoulder. He should be in the crawl space. One, two, three. Can you step away from that please so it stops making that noise? Just step back, it'll stop. I wanna know you can hear me. Thank you. Let's play these back. I wanna have a conversation with you though. We're gonna be going to bed after this. We're gonna be out of your hair, all right? Three, three, two, one. Have you been following us all night? Are you the one playing with a flashlight out there? Can you twist that on all the way? Nothing, nothing super clear on that one at all. It's weird, the EVPs tonight haven't been like super, super clear or super, super intelligent, but we've, getting, we've been getting a lot of different equipment interaction throughout the building. And I'm telling you, the feeling on this floor is just off. It doesn't feel good up here. I hate this floor. I'm so glad the rooms we're sleeping in are downstairs on the first floor because I don't know if I would like to sleep up here tonight. Well, actually, I know I wouldn't like to sleep up here tonight, so I'm glad that we're not sleeping up here tonight. There's something up here. There's definitely something on this floor of the house. Why do you stay here? Are you ready for my prayer? One, two, three. There's just a knock behind me when I ask that, so that's awesome. I think what I want to do is, 
I think I want to move down the hall. I'm going to leave the equipment in here just so I don't have to drag everything down there. I'm going to move down the hall back towards the room that we did the Estes in tonight and see if I can get anything in there because I was getting some stuff during the Estes. So let's go that way a little bit. The music box is going to go off when I go by it. So I'm going to turn this off so I don't set it off. There we go. this back quick and then I'll do uh, what I said I was gonna do Is that like, mm-hmm? Have you been following us all night? Flashlights turn on. I don't know if you can see it. Are you the one playing with the flashlight out there? Can you switch that on all the way? It's on all the way. Holy. Actually, that's really, really neat. I wonder if it does work that way. Like it's way easier to hear questions through the voice recorder. Thank you. That's bizarre actually. That's really bizarre. I'm gonna put the recorder on the Ouija board table and see if we get anything. Here we go. One, two, three. Can you come up to this device on the table and give me your name? No? I don't know. What? Can you step away from that, please? Step back so it stops going off. Thank you. Was the negative entity conjured by whatever rituals were going on here in the house? Does a negative entity control the other spirits that reside in this house? Does it have power over them? Can you see me right now? If you can see me, can you make a really loud noise for me somewhere on this floor? One, two, three. Intelligent device interaction, though. That's kind of crazy. Hey, viewer. What? I said, why do you stay here? I have no choice. Listen to that. Are you ready for my prayer? I thought I just heard a noise back there, and then there's a scream, so that was good. All right. Let's play this back. Oh God, the doll's behind me. Yikes. As long as one of them doesn't move, I'll be okay. Here we go. Let's play this back. Can you go up to this device on the table and give me your name? Was the negative entity conjured by whatever rituals were going on here in the house? Entity conjured by whatever rituals were going on here in the house? Conjured by whatever rituals were going on here in the house. Holy 
shit. That was a really loud noise. Hello? Oh my god, that was a loud noise. But when I was upstairs, I said I was going to call upon Archangel Michael. Um, they actually have a prayer upstairs in the uh, the main room where we started out in on the first floor. Or I guess where we did our session out on the first floor. Um, they have the same prayer that I actually read in Gettysburg, I think. So I'm going to get my phone out quick, turn it on, and read that prayer. There's like a bang from out there. Can you do that again? You make that same noise? You make that same noise? You make that same noise? Can you close that door? Move an object in here? Oh, good. That's the, uh, that REM pod's pinging. That REM pod is pinging down there in that other room right now. Can you step away from that, please? So it stops making that noise? Holy shit, on command. On command. That's actually kind of crazy. Actually, I'm going to read it uh, through the spirit or the DR60. I wonder if when I play it back, they'll be able to hear it and we'll get a different response. And just, see, so yeah, I got the whole thing right here. Check it out. All right. Can you step back, please? Right before I start. That's so weird. Step back, please. Thank you. So I hear a loud bang out there, what sounds like movement, and then the REM pod at the far end of the hall where I just was absolutely pings and then stops as soon as I ask it to. That's what I mean, like, it's crazy. That is crazy. All right, prayer to St. Michael. Here we go. Set this up. Three, two, one. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wiles and wickedness of the devil. Restrain him, O God, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin and destruction of our souls. Amen. That's the thing tonight, right? Like I got to finish playing this EVP, but like the EVPs have not been super spot on, but the activity is intelligent. The activity is loud. We're hearing voices. There's bangs, there's footsteps, the equipment's going off. So it's like everything else is going on. The feelings like we're feeling off in certain areas, but the EVPs just aren't hitting, but everything else is. This place is insane. This place is absolutely insane. Let me finish this. But the negative energy conjured by whatever rituals were going on here in the house. Does the negative energy yes, control the other spirits that reside in this house? Does it have power over them? Can you see me right now? I don't know. I don't know. It's really been a weird, been a weird, weird night. This floor is off. I don't like this floor. I've said it a lot. This is the floor I don't like out of anywhere in this house. I feel way more comfortable in the basement, even in the crawl space over this floor. I hate the second floor of this house. I really, really do. Can you finish this? 
Our Father, who art in heaven. Let's do, um, let's do one more session before it's time to wrap up and go to sleep for the night. Um, I'm ready to get off this floor. I'm ready to go to bed on the first floor, which is hopefully safer. So we're going to do one more session, and then we're going to go find Dylan and uh, call it a night. Here we go. One, two, three. Is there a demon in this house? If there's a demon here, make yourself known. Do something to prove to me how strong you are. I think you just say these things to scare people. You're not that powerful. What do you think about that? One, two, three. Guys, I really hope the mics are picking that up. That's literally footsteps directly above me. Oh, goody, all right. What? Get him out? What? Get out. It was like, get him out, get out. I didn't like it, so it seems. Um, I don't know. This has been really interesting. Um, like I said earlier, guys, we don't really believe in the whole demon thing, right? But um, I don't. it's very, very strange how reading prayers like that or calling to archangels and saints and God, how that affects their interactions, right? I'm not really religious, but I do find that very, very interesting. Makes me question a little bit, you know? Um, but I'm going to do one more session, and uh, then it's about time to go upstairs, get some sleep before we head to um, our next spot. So, yeah. Well, let's see what they think about that. Is there a demon in this house? If there's a demon here, make yourself know. Do something to prove to me how strong you are. I think you just say these things to scare people. You're not that powerful. What do you think about that? Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing on that. Three, two, one. Why do you want me out? Can you say good night? Or goodbye? Are you going to interrupt us as we sleep upstairs? Alright, I don't know if it sounded like footsteps or something. I couldn't tell if it was on the stairs. 
I went to pan down to the DR60 and then I heard it, so I switched back right quick. But I don't know, that was weird, guys. That was really, really weird. It has a weird vibe down here for sure. Why do you want me out? What? Why do you want me out? Sound like said go. I say it. it was like spread out. It was like good. Can you nice. say good night. Goodbye. Yeah, it was like good night. Are you going to interrupt us as we sleep upstairs? Yes. Cool. What was that? Yes. Yes, I will. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what to make of this negative entity that's supposed to be here. Um, it feels off up here. It feels really, really weird. I got, I've gotten that warm feeling again. Like my, my chest is tight again. I don't like this room. I don't like this floor, um, but again, the EVPs just aren't there, but everything else is. The voices, the footsteps, the bangs, the equipment, everything else has been crazy tonight. It, it's been crazy. So I'm gonna go grab the rest of the stuff now. I'm gonna keep you guys with me while I do that so you guys can see if anything else happens while I'm gonna go pick it up. I'm gonna go pick up that stuff. I'm gonna go downstairs, find Dylan. We're gonna try to get a few hours of sleep, guys, and we will wrap this up in the morning, but let's go get the rest of the equipment now, see if anybody else is up here. Really, really weird session, guys. Um, I don't know. I just hope whoever is trapped here um, can find a way out. It seems like they've been prevented, uh, you know, somehow from talking with us. Um, whoever this negative spirit is, I don't know if Steve encountered him. That just flicked, the flashlight just flipped on really, really quick when I said whoever this negative spirit is. Um, whoever this negative spirit is, hopefully, you know, they release whoever's trapped here at some point. But it's about that time. I'm going to head upstairs. We're going to pack up a little bit and get ready for bed. But the night's not over, guys. All right, guys. That's it. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to find Dylan. We're going to get a few hours of sleep. We'll update you guys in the morning. Let's go. All right, guys. We made it through another night. We slept inside the Monroe demon house last night after a pretty crazy night of activity yeah i feel like it's very interesting that we made contact with whoever it is that apparently attacks savannah um so it seems like we encountered the demon of the monroe demon house yeah whoever claims to be this demon at least neither of us were physically attacked which mm. i guess thumbs up for us but there's definitely something off about this house yeah like you said upstairs it just has like a very weird vibe about it um just like it makes you very uncomfortable um anxiety builds up pretty quick here yeah um, I feel like we should come back to this place at some point, maybe bring someone with us yeah. to see if we get affected differently. Bring somebody in that maybe doesn't know a lot about the place. Don't really tell them where we're going yeah. and see if they still pick up on the same things that we picked up on here. Maybe like a psychic or something. Yeah, we could bring back a psychic or we could just drop Mark off in here and see how he does. That'd but, be uh, fun. We'll definitely be coming back here, For maybe sure. with, uh, with somebody else, but there's a lot left to be uncovered at the Monroe Demon House. But it's time to get in the car. Yep. We got more to film, so uh, let's get to it. Let's do it.